Udav Thakre today said the election commission should be dissolved and that election commissioners should be elected by people two days after losing the name and symbol of the Shiv Sena, the party founded by his father, Bala Saab Thakre. There's not a single instance where the party name and symbol were directly given to one faction, is what the former Maharashtra chief minister said, hours after challenging the election commission's decision in the Supreme Court. Well, that's what our, our debate is. That's what we are looking at very, very closely. Joining us now, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Rajya Sabha MP uh, and uh, a leader of, uh, of uh, the Shiv Sena affiliated with uh, the Thakres, Abhishek Tripathi, BJP spokesperson, Rohit Chandra Varkar, senior journalist uh, and uh, Krishna Hegde, deputy leader and spokesperson of what is now known as the Shiv Sena. Let me go straight across uh, uh, to Krishna Hegde. Um, you know, the point which is being made is that if you look at, uh, uh, at what those close to the Thakres are saying, they're saying the enforcement director, the CBI, income tax, they were deployed to split the Shiv Sena, after which they worked to split the Election Commission of India. These are the allegations. Um, in fact, Priyanka over here, I think, referred to it as the uh, entirely compromised institution of India, which was wheeled in to give this treachery a stamp of approval. How would you respond to these very strong allegations? Vishnuji, you know that the Election Commission is an autonomous and independent body. And to cast aspirations on the Election Commission, I don't think is the right thing to do. Mr. Sanjay Raoji said that 2,000 crores uh, funds of transactions were exchanged. I would like, like him to give the proof. Otherwise, there is a criminal and defamation case which can be filed against him. I don't think he knows what he's talking. The other thing they are saying that the Election Commission should, should be dissolved. Election Commission is not made and dissolved at the whims and fancies of a po political party leader. So the third thing I, I would like to say is that 75% of the people have left Udavji. They are part of the Shiv Sena now. Even in the recent Panchayat Samiti and Zilla Parishad elections, the BJP and the Shiv Sena... Right. Let me just get a quick response from Priyanka to that. Priyanka, the point no, being um, that they have the numbers. No, no, what number are they talking about? I'm sorry, what, what was he even saying? That 75% of the people are with him? Uh, let's go about the primary membership. Primary membership, 20 lakh affidavits have been submitted to the election commission, overlooked by the election commission. Office bearers, over 3 lakh affidavits, nil from their side, submitted to the election commission, uh, overlooked by the election commission. And the 20 lakh primary membership that I'm talking about, they had around 3 odd lakhs. Now talking about the national office bearers, over 220 Rashtriya Prabharis, 180 are with the Udav Sahab Thakre. What is he even talking about? You know, just taking the legislative strength. And legislative strength also is under challenge in the Supreme Court. The entire election commission reasoning is where they have A, decided what the result would be and B, started to find reasons why they are going, going by this decision. They, they say they recognize a split in the party. Let me tell you from 2003 onwards, the constitution, the 10th schedule does not recognize a split. It says that two-third of the people have chosen to, uh, you know, say that they do not have the confidence in the leadership. They can very well go merge with another party to escape uh, re-election. B, form another party and face an election, face the electorate. So that also, the reasoning gone behind the, uh, the election commission, A, uh, the, uh, going against the 10th schedule, something which is outlawed where they recognize a split in the party. B, uh, strength, uh, uh, strength of majority, test of majority. Test of majority, they have only gone by the legislator's majority. They haven't gone by the organizational majority, which is overwhelmingly with Uddhav Sahab Thakre. Uh, thirdly, this legislative majority is also under challenge and being heard by the constitution bench of the Supreme Court. And what they have done is gone against what CJ Ramana had told the election commission to do, is to continue hearing the matter out, but not you know, make a judgment on it. Okay, so last just one second, one second, Priyanka, you know... Uh, last but not the least, last but not the least, about this entire constitutional validity 2018, internal party democracy, and the fine ones. Election Commission talking about, you know, using words like thiefdom, saying surreptitiously changed the constitution in 2018. Let me bring it on record. Any changes made to the party constitution was in adherence to the Election Commission of India and which was known to the Election Commission of India. You know, a couple second, of points mentioned over there, Mr. Hegde. No, 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 one no, second, no, Priyanka, no, I got to no, keep no, the no, strike no, rotating. No, no, last, last point, no, no one last second, point, I will come back point, to you. Then you can 
argue as much as you want. I have to leave. I'm, I'm not arguing with the you. I'm point. asking others questions. Last so if point, you just hold point, on for one moment, point, I, you can't, point, Priyanka, you can't steamroll this. I will come back to you. Was very much part of the change in the constitution. I, I'm not fighting with you, Priyanka. I need to ask Thank the others so a question also. No, You're please, welcome. Then you go ahead. I no, no, I have many anyway. more Thank questions you. for you, but let me, you have raised points, let me ask. All right, so Krishna Hegde, so she's left. Well, that's, that's entirely her prerogative. For, for, but the for, point for, that for. she did mention over there, uh, there's historical precedence for this. For example, uh, in 2017, when the AIA-DMK split between Sasikala and Palaniswami, both factions took new names and symbols, right? Uh, there wasn't one side which was favored by the EC. Similarly, the Lok Jan Shakti party split between Chirag Paswan and his uncle Pashupati Paras. Uh, that required both factions to use new names and party symbols. So one of the points being mentioned over here is that how is this fair? Vishnuji, if you recollect, there was a uh, Andheri East bipole and both of us got new names and new uh, symbols. So it's not that the process was not followed. But after that, what, what happened was, these people have not given the affidavits uh, in a proper process. Also, they have given affidavits which were jali, which were, you know, fake. And there's a case registered in the Andheri police station against these fake affidavits which were given. Moreover, the affidavits which we have given also... No, no, but what, I'm not talking about affidavits. I'm talking about decisions which were taken by the election commission. I've given you historical precedent, three separate no, examples. Will, no, I will also right? give you the... So the point when they say that, you know, the EC is biased, they base it on this. Where is the historical precedence? No, there is a judgment of the Sadi Kali 1971 judgment. Also, their own ally partner, the senior ally partner, Mr. Sharad Pawar, has advised uh, Udavji that when he also left the Congress in a minority, he had to take a new okay. symbol. The Congress had the original symbol and the name. Pawar Sahib did not get the original symbol and the name. And he advised Udavji that since like I have got the uh, symbol and the name and form my new party, you should also do the same. But I don't know why they are not willing to listen, listen to the alliance partner. It is up to them. The third thing I must say that this, the, uh, you know, uh, he was talking, uh, Priyanka was talking about uh, majority. Let them come and have a flow test. We will prove Dud ka Dud or Pani ka Pani. We have over 180 to 200 legislators today out of 288. And it will be clear. The, but let me, uh, let me just action. ask, let me bring in Rohit Chandravarkar over here. Rohit, uh, one of the points so, mentioned uh, by Vishnu, those... Vishnu ji, I'll have to leave in a minute because... No, I just so, wait one second. Yeah, just wait okay, one okay. second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rohit, the point which has actually been mentioned is that uh, there was proof submitted by those close to the Thakres. The proof was in over 20 lakh affidavits of primary members and 2.83 lakh affidavits of office bearers which were submitted to the election commission compared to... 12 lakh primary members and 700 uh, odd office bearers of the Shinde faction. So the point which was mentioned is that, look, we have the numbers and the support. Um, is there any validity in that argument, you think? Uh, Vishnu, the points that you are making are being raised by the Uddhav Thakre group yeah. of Shiv Sena yeah. and uh, some section of the media is also kind of asking questions over this. So today, as you know, Shiv Sena has taken the issue to Supreme Court and the court has asked them to, uh, you know, come through proper channel or uh, file proper documents and that case that dispute will uh, go on for, for a long time but but uh, but uh, the, the 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 point uh, to which i want to draw your attention is that in the next week that is on 28th the uh, session the budget session of maharashtra assembly will start and uddhav thakre's group is likely to face a major fire from uh, eknath shinde group because today eknath shinde's group has announced that they will be issuing a whip, which will have to be followed by Uddhav Thakre as member of uh, this, uh, the council, uh, legislative council, and also Aditya Thakre and others who are members of the, uh, uh, who are MLAs, members of right. the assembly. And if they don't do that, if they don't do that, they stand to be suspended. You know, that's going to be the drama that's going to happen while the Supreme Court hears the case on the issue that you mentioned. Uh, whether whether uh, you know giving away the symbol to one faction is valid uh, is just or not that in fact uh, that's the key point in court but uh, the, the the next battle is going to be in the assembly within a week and then sure. of course during the 
municipal polls. But just to the point of what happens in the Supreme Court, Abhishek Tripathi, this is the key issue. That look, if there is a hearing in the Supreme Court to look at the potential disqualification of what 16 odd MLAs, right? Then isn't this decision by the Election Commission premature? See, Election Commission has taken its timely decision. I don't think why uh, it should be questioned. It's an autonomous body. Uh, uh, but so let Supreme Court come on its own time. But the what hearing, if those 16 MLAs are disqualified? Supreme Court. So, uh, no, no, the hearing is on in Supreme Court. Let's no, Supreme I'm just Court. asking you, what if they are? No, what if they are? If they're disqualified, they'll be by election. I, I mean, there is nothing more we can we can say on that. But let Supreme Court first take a decision. But I want to add on to something, uh, Vishnu. The problem that Uddhav Thakre Sena is facing is we just saw a while back how Priyanka Chaturvedi and her attitude was. So this is precisely the attitude of of Uddhav Thakre Sena that has been uh, you know doing the rounds for last uh, over two and a half years and three years that we have been witnessing and the reason why the collapse of that party and the collapse of the entire kingdom that we have seen. So it is very important to understand uh, uh, this, that why is this happening? Election Commission has taken its call. Uh, Uddhav Thakre uh, uh, Sena has gone to Supreme Court to challenge this order. They have a full right to do that. So let's wait for Supreme Court for its verdict. Abhishek, uh, the other point is that uh, according to the Shiv Sena, Mishnu, according I'll to, have to leave please now. Because okay, I'm I just wanted to go across to Abhishek Tripa. I just yeah. wanted to go across to Abhishek for one more. Uh, quick, uh, you know, question. The majority, according to uh, the Shinde group, uh, is nothing but an example of horse trading, allurement and coercion. Uh, if the apex body to regulate elections in this country doesn't analyze these issues is what they are arguing, then politics will be nothing more than a numbers game. The point being that, look, it's not just a numbers game. There's an issue of propriety here as well. Since 2014 to 2019, when the BJP and Shiv Sena were together, the same set of MLAs and the same set of uh, people uh, who, who are in Shinde Sena right now were there together. Now, what happened in 2019? Why did this happen? There's a problem with Uddhav Thakre and his family. I'll say it openly. The, the attitude that they have given to their MLAs and member parliaments, we all know here in Mumbai, is very difficult to face. It's very difficult to tolerate because everybody is their own right, our MLAs and our member parliaments and our leaders. So if you give them this kind of attitude that uh, that uh, Uddhav Thakre ji has been given all through to these people, it is, see, when, when there are numbers now, you talk about house trading on Ikan, it happens for 8, 10, 12 MLAs, not 40, 45 MLAs. It is very important to understand, go back to the root cause. Why is this happening? Why okay. is that everybody wants to leave Thakre family? There has to be a reason. Why the why they don't want to accept Aditya Thakre as their leader and a cabinet minister? Then, so idea is to understand he, what is the root cause? Uh, why is this happening? Uh, uh, people talk about house trading. People talk about uh, uh, case related, uh, uh, you know, pressure and all of that. Every 14, 45 MLAs, they don't have cases on them. All right. I just wanted to ask uh, Rohit Chandravarkar. Rohit, uh, is it true that Udav Thakre is now fighting a battle to? keep up the morale of his party workers. Uh, he's having Shiv Senek camps. How important is this, uh, you know, given that he's lost the logo and the name? Vishnu, today uh, Shiv Sena removed uh, the symbol uh, from their Twitter handle, the original symbol that they had. And I think it's uh, kind of, I, it would, would not be an exaggeration if I say that it is kind of a do and die, do or die situation for Uddhav Thakri group now. Because uh, Uddhav Thakre is seen doing things that he has never done in the last several years after Bayasaheb Thakre's uh, demise. Last 10 years at least he is controlling the party. He has never been seen going out and you know holding these kinds of uh, camps and meeting people and being so accessible, etc. One of the biggest allegations against him is, is, was that he was not accessible at all. Uh, nobody could meet him at his residence and he never came out of his residence. So now he's trying to reverse that. I think what Eknath Chinde group is now doing is that they're going to use this leverage that they have got from the EC uh, in terms of getting the symbol as well as Shiv Sena name and pitch it as a, a bait for uh, Uddhav Thakre group people uh, at the lower rung level. Uh, that is in the municipal level for municipal elections and district council elections which are happening uh, in the next few months. So going to districts and baiting people of Uddhav Thakre group saying that, look, we have this symbol now, you should uh, join us. It will be better for you to be with us. So that leverage they are going to use now and that is going to create a big challenge for Uddhav Thakre, I think, 
this is this again you know it comes out as the biggest challenge like he's facing a series of challenges i think this is this one is a you know tsunami kind of a thing a huge challenge for uddhav thakre for survival and i think he and his son are seen you know de- doing things which uh, they were never doing so it's it's very obvious that they have realized what a serious uh, you know uh, okay. question of survival they face now and uh, let me see just how ask we emerge abhishek emerges. Uh, abhishek one final question Uh, in the politics of the shiv sena the legacy of bala saheb thakre is most important what's interesting over here is that legacy is being claimed uh, by the new shiv sena right it's uh, not just something which is claimed uh, by uh, udav thakre uh, do you believe that that identity has uh, has been shifted from the thakres to mr shinde and his supporters most definitely see it's very important again i would say to understand the legacy the bala saab's legacy was something the thought process the ideology was completely different this is what we uh, see in shinde sena right now so that we didn't see bala saab never wanted to align with congress let's be very clear about it he had on camera said that the day it comes i'll shut my party i'll shut the shop so it is very important to understand the ideology and the lacks and lacks of followers uh, which is there in the sena will definitely shift to shinde sena it is it is very simple to understand there is a ideology let's see the party shiv sena was primarily a party of ideology yeah if the ideology is not there uh, which is not been followed by uddhav thakre how will you uh, how will you think uh, that people uh, he can retain his people all right can, well, we'll have to wait and see what finally uh, uh, does take place uh, in this in this battle to try and retain supporters and uh, as rohit was mentioning it is very much a tsunami a battle for survival uh for the thakrees at this stage i'd like to thank you both very much uh for being with us uh this battle of the shiv sena uh, is going to be continuing it seems for a while remember it does come up in the supreme court as well